Okay, I'm back. I'm very excited. Today I'm gonna do my review of Monster. I finally finished it. I finished it probably like 10 minutes ago. And oh my gosh, it, the ending, the, I mean, the whole show, so good, so good. But the ending, this is so good. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of things I wanna say about Monster, but let me just start off with saying, if you haven't watched it, you should watch it. Uh, for me, uh, with my rating, I give it a five out of five. I thought, I thought it was, I thought it was just so good. That's obviously why it's a five out of five. I'm also gonna try to do this without doing any uh, spoilers. I'm gonna try to be like minimal spoiler, just because I want you to watch this review and say, oh, I can actually watch this without being spoiled. Okay, so if you're new here, uh, how I review stuff, I do it by the story the characters, and then the vibe. So obviously we gotta start with the story. Uh, in my opinion, the story was really good. <laughs> Who would've thought, five out of five, it has a great story. But uh, obviously we followed this uh, amazing doctor, Dr. Tenma, in his whole battle against this evil monster, uh, Yoan. And I will say, uh, I made a short about it, uh, like the, reacting to the first episode, and I just, I don't know, at the time, I kind of knew something was special about it. Just because, just from that first episode to the end, it's just been, just, I, I compare it to, like, stairs. Like, you're taking little steps at a time, and but every step you take is just getting better and better. And that's how I feel about Monster's story. Like, there's, there's so many things, but, like, <laughs> along Tenma's uh, journey that we have to follow... The people he meets, the the things that are getting crazier with Johan. So I, I think there are some points in the story where they kind of feel boring. And I've, I've said this before, like, Monster at some points, like, you watch it and you're like, why are we doing this right now? But I will say, everything in Monster has a purpose. It, it might seem some boring at some points, like, there's some characters I'll talk about in the character review that I just didn't like at first. But they became so important to the story, and they made their character change and development were, were so good, and it, it really impacted the story. So I always say, like, just just let let the story cook, let the story develop, let let it happen. Just because, like I, I just keep saying, Monsters of Five out of Five, you know, it it just, it's, it just gets better and better. You just gotta wait sometimes. Okay, now we're gonna do the character review. Um, where do I start? Let's just start with Dr. Tenma, the main character, the protagonist. Personally, for me, I love Tenma. I thought he was such a good character just because he reminds me of that uh, joyful, happy person that's trying to, trying to be the light and save everyone. And obviously, his counterpart, the antagonist, Yohan, the main villain of this story, um, it's like a yin and yang, I would say. He was the monster, the ultimate darkness to Yenma's, uh, to Yenma, to Tenma's light. I was thinking it, it does kind of remind me of like a, a, a battle of good and evil, kind of like light and L and death note. It's just that constant, constant struggle and fight that they, they both were so good, so good. Such, such good characters. Uh, we also got to talk about uh, Johan's sister, Nina or Anna, we're just gonna call her Nina for now. Uh, man, she was also such a good character and the voice actress, she was so good. There are some points where I was thinking like, dang, Nina, Nina's such a good character and I don't know, you could just feel her emotions really sometimes. And her struggles and obviously her struggles with Johan, but also being, she was such a nice character also. It, it just sucks that her brother was the villain. There's a, there's so many characters I want to talk about, but let's just talk about a handful. Uh, Grimer, uh, he he was such a good character. I don't want to say too much of like about him. All I want to say is he was loved by all the kids, and <laughs> it just it just sucks. I don't want to spoil. It just sucks, but he he such a good character. I loved him. Uh, let's go to Detective Lungay. Uh, 
I have a very strong love-hate relationship with him. He was a character that is written to hate, but then you hate him, and then towards the end, you, you kind of like him. You don't love him, actually. He's a hate-like character. You do. I did like him at the end, and... Oh man, he was such a big nuisance to Tenma and to me, the audience, like, I really hated him for a long time. Speaking of hate, let's talk about one of the other main villains, Roberto. What do I even say about that guy? I hate him. I'm just, what happens in the story, he was just always horrible, bro. I hated that guy so much. <laughs> He's, he, he is a good character to hate because, oh, uh, like, a, like I said, he, He's horrible. <laughs> There's some other characters like Carl and Mr. Schubert that I didn't like at first, but as the story progressed and the story got better and their involvement with Johan and the story, I think, like I said in the beginning, you gotta let the story develop and you gotta let these characters develop. And at the end, like, I, I did appreciate them. I did like how they turned out. There's some other characters like Dr. Gillian and Dr. Reachwine or however you want to pronounce their names. I thought they were also great supporting characters to Tenma. There's just a lot of, a lot of characters in the show, I will say. Like, it kind of reminds me of One Piece. Like, obviously, One Piece is my favorite. But like, there's a lot of characters like, oh, there's that person, there's that person. Oh, there's this person. That person that Tenma met, or you just meet a lot of people that you're like, okay, I like them. I, I like them. Oh, they were cool. I kind of remember them. But I almost, I almost forgot about this character, Dieter, my little guy. Such he, what do I say about him? Such a good character. He he was like the little the little light that Tenma helped, and he was just a little energy boost that helped everyone, especially Nina, and. He was just one of those people that you just, I, I won't forget. He was just a cool little guy. There's some other characters I'm forgetting. I'll put like pictures of them. I thought their story and what happens with them was also really good. It's just, I, I can't remember the names. Like I said, there's so many people, but like they were also really good. And that's why I appreciate the characters in Monster because everyone, even if they have a small little role, they're so good. Okay, the last review part is the, the vibe. So I always talk about this, it's a little weird, it's a little hard to decipher. The vibe is how you're feeling about the show. Are you enjoying it? Things like that. And obviously you can tell by now with my excitement, my rating five out of five, the vibe for Monster was perfect. Sometimes I just didn't want to watch Monster because I didn't want it to end. It just, it, Sometimes it, I keep saying like it's it just sucks that it ends because the vibe was so good. There were so many moments that I was like, oh, that was such a good moment or that was a great part with the, this character and or that character had such a good moment and the vibe, the emotions were so good. And I just I just can't say enough about Monster like the vibe was perfect. This is it for the final, the final thoughts, the final thing. Remember, I'm not trying to spoil anything. I want you to watch it. You have to let me know in the comments if you've seen it, how you like Monster. Like I said in the beginning, it's a 5 out of 5. You have to definitely go watch it if you haven't. Definitely recommend it. Okay, that's, that's it for the review. Don't forget to leave a like. Let me know in the comments if you've seen Monster. Let me know if you like the review, you disagree with the review, anything you have to say about the review. I'll reply to in the comments. Don't forget to try not to spoil anyone if they haven't seen it. And don't forget to subscribe for more anime content like this. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.